Beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. Beer is not the answer. Beer is the question. Yes is the answer. As Friedrich Nietzsche should have wrote, without beer, life would be a mistake. All right, so I admit it. His actual quote was about music, and it wasn't so bad either. Hi, I'm Greg Whittemore, and I believe that life should be all about the three Bs. Base, bread, and beer. And it just so happens that two of these involve yeast. Today, I would like to give you some insight into yeast, specifically the role that one of its enzymes plays in bread and beer making. After that, I aim to share some of the ways in which beer has shaped the course of science and our world as we know it. Beer is the result of the ethanol fermentation of sugars from cereal grains by Saccharomyces cerevisiae, more commonly known as yeast. Yeast alcohol dehydrogenase 1, or YADH1, is one of two constitutive enzymes involved in ethanol fermentation of glucose, the other being pyruvate decarboxylase. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is a facultative anaerobe, so under aerobic conditions, it fully oxidizes glucose to CO2 using the citric acid cycle and electron transport to generate ATP. Under anaerobic conditions, oxygen, the final electron acceptor of electron transport, is absent, which causes the citric acid cycle and electron transport to shut down. If the organism is to survive, it must use an alternative electron acceptor to reoxidize NADH to NAD+, a critical coenzyme in glycolysis, which still provides some of the necessary ATP in the absence of oxygen. YADH1 provides the solution to this problem by catalyzing the reversible reduction of acetaldehyde and coupling this reduction with the oxidation of NADH. By oxidizing NADH back to NAD+, the action of YADH1 allows for the continued glycolytic degradation of glucose and supplies necessary ATP. YADH1 is a member of the NAD-dependent dehydrogenase family. It is a homotetramer of polypeptides, with each chain consisting of 347 amino acid residues, and it has a molecular mass of 149.5 kilodaltons. Yeast alcohol dehydrogenase has multiple Rossmann-fold domains, an important superstructural feature that is highly conserved in ADHs of other species. In the coenzyme binding pocket, there are two such domains, one binding the adenine moiety and the other the nicotinamide moiety of NADH. In order to function, YADH1 requires zinc ions as cofactors in its active site, where it ligates the oxygen of the substrate, helping to orient it. In addition, the substrate oxygen enters into hydrogen bonding with threonine-45, which along with NADH and histidine-48 make up a proton relay system. While the orientation of substrate and coenzyme in the active site has been elucidated by X-ray crystallographic studies, there is no conclusive evidence to date for the chemical mechanism of the enzyme-catalyzed reaction. So why all the fuss about beer? For starters, the study of yeast fermentation and beer laid the groundwork for what would become the field of biochemistry, and it also provides the basis for modern medicine. In 1856, Louis Pasteur demonstrated that bacteria growing in wine and beer caused it to sour. From these findings came the idea that if microbes can contaminate and spoil beverages, perhaps they could also infect other organisms causing disease. From this line of thinking came strong support for germ theory, which dramatically shaped the way in which medicine is practiced, even until this day. In 1896, Edward Buchner's research demonstrated that cell-free yeast extracts could catalyze the fermentation of sugar to alcohol. This finding supported the idea that all biological reactions are subject to the same laws of nature as non-biological chemical reactions, thus laying the groundwork for biochemistry as a scientific discipline. Beyond its contributions to science, there is evidence to suggest that beer was the driving force behind the agricultural revolution, which ultimately gave rise to organized civilization. Now, if you think that the first automated assembly line was in the factories of Henry Ford, you'd actually be wrong. In fact, Michael Owens' beer bottle machine was the first machine to be used in large-scale assembly line production. Some of the first studies into refrigeration were funded by the beer industry in order to allow for year-round production of lagers. Lagers require colder brewing temperatures in order to control fermentation. Beer was an essential component in the diets of the people of medieval Europe and ancient Egypt, 
contributing to their health. By consuming beer, they avoided infection by coliform bacteria present in the water supply. Given that pyramid builders were paid in beer, beer actually played a very large role in their construction. And the list goes on and on. It is safe to say that yeast, YADH1, fermentation, and beer have had a profound influence on the way that the world is today. For this, we should all raise a glass and toast the magnificence that is beer. And now for one last thought for you from the mind of one of our founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin. Beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy.